Well, Carolyn, the problem is two things. First of all, people are not happy about having to pay more for parking. And then there are these. These are the new pay stations that people have to use in many of the spots here in Ferndale. And a lot of people say they're just too complicated. We don't need this. Everyone hates it. Nobody likes to pay for parking, but in this room tonight, blood is boiling over Ferndale's rollout of a new parking system and new parking rates where you'll pay double what you used to in some prime spots. It is glaring the obvious tonight by what I'm hearing and um, all the feedback on social media. It was executed poorly. There's also frustration with lines at the kiosks. We're already waiting in line to get our food at these restaurants, and that now we're going to have to wait outside some more. And business owners say the new rates are driving away customers and killing their bottom line. I can't afford to pay this for myself and my employee. I would like to ask you for some relief or some help with this. A spokesman for Ferndale's Downtown Development Authority says parking is free for two more weeks while they look at the problem, but a solution is not in sight. We're going to do free parking for the next couple weeks to uh, put the minds in, in the city together and come up with the solution. I don't know what the solution is. Uh, to me, in a perfect world, there would be no parking uh, fees at all anywhere. And again, for now, for the next two weeks, the parking will be free. You won't have to use the pay stations. And the other issue is a lot of people are complaining that there aren't enough pay stations. As you heard, they don't want to wait in those lines. But there's also a phone app for your Android or your iPhone that you can download so you don't have to wait in those lines. Still, right now, we'll have to see how this all plays out. But people are pretty frustrated. Reporting live in Ferndale, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News. Carolyn, back to you.